hello! Today is a vlog where I finally made the decision to really try to create my office slash library as I ultimately want it to be. I've kind of been in limbo with it for a while and I don't know, I was over at one of my friend's houses who's also been working from home and she was just pointing out to me like, hey, we're gonna be working from home for a while still. So, and also, I mean, frankly, I don't know that a lot of people who are office workers like me who've been working remotely, I think a lot of us foresee that we will continue to work at least from home some of the time. So she kind of just made me realize like, what am I waiting for? I should just go ahead and like create a space that is more functional for me and that actually like works with the fact that I spend so much time in this room because between booktube and work, I mean, this is like the main room that I'm in in my house. So with that being said, I decided to take you guys along while I transform this room into something a lot more beautiful and functional. There are still a couple of things I probably will change eventually, but for now, this is what it looks like. And I hope you enjoy watching the transformation. So this is my office as it existed at the beginning of this project, by this time I had gone ahead and cleared out the card table that I was using to house that external monitor and my work laptop, which is now on the left of my desk. This was my big breakthrough in terms of space, realizing that I could in fact fit both of those monitors on this one desk. So once I kind of figured out that that was gonna work out okay, that made me feel like I could move on and do the rest of this room. So those are the Target bookshelves I've had for a few years. They didn't really survive my move very well, so they've been kind of unstable. And you can see that there's some big blank space on the wall as well. So that's the main focus of our redesign. And I may do a few things over here on these walls as well.
Okay, so second shelf is built. I'm about to put all the books onto it, but I wanted to mention that chair has been ordered and I did the measurement to make sure that it will fit betwixt the two shelves that match. So that's gonna sit in front of the corner shelf. Then I also went ahead, I just noticed that I got like an unusually large affiliate check from Boardwalk. So thanks you guys for, for that. And I decided to use that money to buy this really beautiful, you'll see, it's hard to describe, but basically it's like a thing that hangs your books from the wall with string. It's a thing. I've seen it on TikTok. <laughs> I've been jealous of it, but they're very expensive. And I mean, they're beautifully, like they're like handmade. They're, they're very nice, but they're expensive. But I decided, you know what? As a, a gift from you guys to me from that affiliate money, I decided to go ahead and buy it. So what I'm thinking is that that will go between the corner shelf and this bookshelf here. And then I have, well, it's behind things right now, but I have a print my friend Bethany gave me that is about Murderbot. And I think that that will go on the wall here between, between those two shelves. So I think things are coming together. We're getting there. Um, I think my chair will be ready to pick up in like a week. I'm very impatient because I want it now. Much like uh, the spoiled little girl in Willy Wonka. Don't care how, I want it now. I want it now, but I'm gonna have to wait so for now, I'm gonna put books back into the new shelf. And uh, I also need to figure out what we're doing with all of these old shelves. The other thing is the bookshelf here, which you guys can't see right now, it doesn't really match. There's nothing wrong with it. I kind of want a new one that more matches the aesthetic. But I think what I'm gonna do for now is hold off on ordering anything until the chair and the book rack get here so that I can do like a full evaluation. I also need to clear out the closet that's on the docket. Anyway, that's where we are in operation, library, construction, decoration, whatever we're calling this. Uh, so yeah, let me put books back on the shelf and then we will wait for more things to arrive. Okay guys, I just wanted to check in on where we are right now in transformation. So we've got the desk rearranged. Then we've got this bookcase in place. And we also have this bookcase in place. So what is missing is the shelf that's gonna go here and the chair. I did, the last time I was at Target, I picked up um, a couple of new bookends, which I think with these kind of open concept shelves, I'm gonna need some more sort of book indie type things. And then I have hung up my Join the Church of Murderbot picture that Bethany gave me. I'm gonna hang up this sign. I'm trying to decide if it's gonna go over this or over this, I'm kind of conflicted. We'll see where I land with that. And uh, I also have a couple of diplomas I'm gonna put up um, on a different wall. And then uh, as you can see, I've got my super old Costco little step ladder thing that my dad had in his workshop for years and years and years, because today we are officially tackling the closet. And I'm hopeful that we may be able to move this little thing into there, which would give us some wall space for me to bring in this old office chair that I have. So that is what is on the docket today. Got my chai tea latte and gonna do a little spring cleaning. Okay, so I've got all the crap out, except I have left in 
this little shelving thing. I moved it though to face out. I have no idea why I didn't do that originally because now this will be much more functional. I've also left up these two big boxes. Does anybody else irrationally keep gigantic boxes because they might need them at some point? Is that just me? I don't know. Okay, so this is empty and I'm definitely thinking I have room to move this guy into here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I still will have room to store my lights, which was kind of my concern. So in progress, going well. Okay, so preliminarily, here's where we're at. So I did get to bring back in this old desk chair. This is from probably the 50s or 60s. My dad in the 80s saved it from a big office clean out at his office. I was born in the 80s, so this was always in his office when I was growing up. So I have this back from him. So it's nice, you know, now in, in my library slash office, he'll be with me. So I'm thinking my other diplomas will go kind of up here somewhere. And then in here, I am actually tickled pink guys, because now this is far more functional. So I moved this little storage thing in here. I have like extra filming stuff. I have like a lot of things I often need <laughs> during kind of just like day-to-day -day life for work or for booktube or for just life in here. I've got papers and then this fits much better over here. Got a trash can. We fit my lights, a couple of jackets I sometimes wear. And then I feel like this is now full up here in a way that feels a lot more functional. So I'm very pleased actually with where we're at. I've got trash and recycling to take out. But yeah, so now I think I'm gonna hang up some pictures because I am I think we're ready. I think I'm gonna put Nashville, the Nashville sign up here and we're just, we'll just go from here. We're, we're making progress. So I actually love the way that this is looking. I feel like this is really bringing everything together because now I just need the chair, which is gonna go like, it will come up to about right here-ish. So I just, I feel like it's gonna be a very cozy little nook over there. So now I just have to wait. I, everything is in place except for the chair. So I just gotta wait for that, but it's gonna be, I don't know, it says it's in transit to the store and I'm impatient and I hope it gets there quickly. But I'll check back in with you guys once I have it. My chair arrived early, so I just picked it up. Now I gotta figure out how to haul it into my house, but this is the last thing I need. And then my office, for at least for now, is done. And here we have the final product, guys. So we have new shelves, we have a reading nook, which has been thoroughly inspected and approved by the kitties. We also have 
just, I feel like a whole new vibe and a whole new space. In my perfect dream world, I would have bookcases that were built in, but that's just not realistic given where I'm at in life. This is not my like forever home. And so that's not realistic, but I love that I now have a much more functional desk space. I love that I have bookshelves that I think are sturdier and have a better vibe of what I'm going for. My diplomas are on the wall. My dad's office chair is in here, which is something I've really wanted to do. And I did that finally, I finally got around to that closet clean out that I needed to do. I think this bookcase that we're looking at is gonna go away and I'll get something that matches the room better. But for now, I think it's completely functional. So it will stay. And uh, yeah, this is kind of just the overall vibe you get when you walk in, which I love. I just, this just puts a smile on my face whenever I walk into this room now. I love having this cozy chair to sit and read in, which I've done a few times. I've got my super awesome book rack up on the wall that I love. I'm obsessed with the way it looks. And you know, I just think the vibes are great. I've got this little heater thing for my drinks to keep a hot cup of tea with me. I've got my art on the wall and I've got all my books keeping me company, making me feel great. So yeah, I think the vibes are immaculate. So now we're in my beautiful new office slash library. I'm excited to be here. And even just in the last couple of days, having it set up this way, this is definitely much more functional for me. So I'm really glad that I took the time to do it and heeded my friend's advice. So let me know what you guys thought about this kind of different version of a bookshelf reorg. Let me know uh, what your ideal office slash library might look like. And uh, yeah, I think that will do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below, and I think that that will do it. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day today, and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.